Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Prey. My name is Razor Brand. So, last episode, I got a little heated. Again, it's all about learning this process. Like, the whole mechanics of this game, it's reminding me of the mechanics from when I played the first Dishonored. Now, don't get me wrong. I loved what the first Dishonored was, but those controls were a little bit nah, to get myself used to. So it's I have to get myself accustomed still to these kind of mechanics and controls because I'm not used to this kind of like controlling style yet. But I'm not going to bitch. I'm not going to lose my mind because I'm going to be doing things. So... What we need is our body right here, and he's got that key card. And I can't get through because zero gravity, apparently so. So, I need to figure him out a way to get me in there. So, why don't we just have a little look-see daisy and just see. And just sit. No, come. Come on. I, I don't. I'm done. Nope. Here we go. Alright, let's see. What's in here? Ah! Alright. Alright, I'm gonna take this. Medical bay. Ooh, yes. Requesting new operator. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. Still, this will only take a moment. There. Thank All you. Better. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. Thank you so much. You're so kind. I hope you have a nice day today. Oh my gosh, I feel so loved. Seems like there's a mimic in here. Somewhere. Yes. Okay, let's see. Do do do. Or no. See, I know you're in here. You just want to mess with me. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, I see. We're above here now. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So, how do we want to? How do we want to do this? Let me actually go this way. Let me actually go this way and see what's over here. Ah. Boink. Oh, the body's on the tray there. Him. Oh, those mimics are in there. Oh, they're so funny. They're so cute. <coughs> Trying to figure out where I am. Such sillies. Oh, those are nukes. Ah. Oh, that's not good. Radiation poisoning detected. Seek medical attention. Yeah, um... Uh, hey! Bitch. No. No. You're not gonna kill me today, Mimics. Not today. Not today. Alright. Still having issues, it seems like, over here. That's just unfortunate. Alright, seems like there's a body over here somewhere. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you okay. do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Ah, uh, flammable grass. All right, well, that's not gonna do jack. 
Alright, well, I'm gonna have to worry about that later. Let's just go and do this. Our tax propulsion system required for EVA. Please what? contact engineering in the hardware labs. Damn it. What the hell? Why is it so hard to try to do things? I just don't understand. Why is it hard? Why is this hard? I just don't get it. All right, well. Clearly, that's not what we need, unfortunately. So. You just figure out. What needs to be done. I believe there's a phantom in here that I left alive. Yes. Hi, bitches. really don't like phantoms. Phantoms are not my favorite. Mimics I can take care of. <coughs> Excuse me. But phantoms, they're a son of a bitch. I don't understand. How do you want me to get past them? That's my question. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be opened from the inside first. Last thing, you don't have a propulsion system for your suit yet. You'll need one to maneuver. Yep. Ow! That hurt me real bad. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Where? Where are you? Mr. Medical! I am Diagnosing a... radiation toxicity. Concerning levels of pressure degradation. Thank you! Please, hold still. This will only take a moment. You know what? No, I need my I need my wrench. I need my wrench. Okay. And then this I need to assign to be there. Yes. And then I'm gonna upgrade its handling. No, I can't. I don't have the upgrade thing. Uh, wasn't there a note here? Yes. Gotta remember all this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. There, yeah, 1568. Okay, I need a propulsion system. Okay. What's this? <laughs> Chloe McLucin. Okay. Okay. Yay. All right, well, that's good. Let's see what needs to be done. Ugh. All right, and then 
Ah, oh, weapon over. F oh. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. I'm doing good. Cooking with cauliflower. Re renowned for its versatility and lush aroma, cauliflower can be substituted in many traditional recipes to boost the nutrient payload without compromising on flavor. Fox mashed potatoes, pizza crust, cauliflower, cauliflower rice pellets, and more. But if you're looking to maximize the health benefits of this dimple delicacy, then steaming is your best bet. Go for the purple variety if you really want to add a blast of color to your plate. Fun. I always love that. Okay. Okay, okay. Wow, this is fun. Ooh. Eat that. Drink, drink, drink. Ooh, I feel energized. Yeah, okay. Now, if I remember correctly, there was another area to explore. Oh, hi, Mr. Dead Guy. No, I don't want your baseball glove. That sounds stupid. Douche. I think that's the director of the lab. Huh. Hmm. I have the sense he resented you. Unfortunate. Hmm. Yes, fun times. Okay, well, I'm gonna just... Wait, is this... 18... No, 16... 54... No. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, um, let's just... Hold on. I've got the co thing. I got a new thingy, so... Um... <coughs> Gotta do stuff from that. Okay, the space elevator. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator. The White Sh Stork Tower has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities in commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch up. The World Union of Space Industry has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, U.S. officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that the sizable investment risks for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, WSI has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for the future space elevators, essentially space age squatting. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not taking baseball gloves. Why the hell do you need baseball gloves? Can I not take that? I was gonna say, let me take that material. It sounds like fun. Alright, let me go see what's down here. There's a mimic nearby. I don't wanna. Ah! Ah! How are we today? Doing good. Oh. Doing good. Alright, let's see. Demo delay. Hello! Just a, just a heads up that the R tax. Uh, we already read that. And you're my only hope. We read that. We read those in the last episode. We read those already. Okay, let's see. There's gotta be some. There's gotta be some stuff. Here. Too far, too fast, too. Okay, second episode from commercialization of the space program. And Johnson's term come, came to an end, paving the way for President Reagan. Even then, the space race was showing signs of faltering, the eager push from previous decades being dulled by the lack of advancement that space had seemed to promise. The Soviet Union had already suffered economic collapse through similar space focus. Many in Washington and the Pentagon found further spending on the space program unpopular, giving rise to a wave of the politicians, good boy, that focused on solving problems at home. And of course, exciting. All right, well, that's just gross. Um, oh, that's right. This place. Spare parts. Okay, I'm gonna 
gonna take this turret with me. Shot it! Now, if I remember correctly. There are mimics in here, yes? I'm gonna set you up right here, and I'm gonna deploy you. Yay! Scanning target, no alien material detected. All right, so we need to get to that body. But what's with the Artax fabrication plan? Look at me. Look at me go. Alright, let's see. Ha ha! Alright, let's see. Read. Bolt effectiveness. Don't sweat it. When the cat's away and all that, I think I have a few ideas. I'll draw something up and send it to you and Mary. Clive. Okay. Franklin, the satellite presently in the repair bay of the machine shop is scheduled to be decommissioned. However, Dr. Kelstrup has requested that we remove the psychotronic trans transistor elements and install them in the new satellite. I don't know what they do, so don't bother asking. Just get it done ASAP. Okay. And then, Transstar Uniform Guide. Okay. Your Transstar Uniform has been designed for your safety, comfort, and to facilitate your work. The uniform must be worn at all times when on board the station. While every effort has been made to make toddlers a comfortable and safe place to work, there is always the chance of an accident or hazard. Of course. De de departmental assignments can be determined by uniform style and color. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Cool. So, let's look at this fabricator. <coughs> Doink. Oh! I need this. Yes. Create. Bam! Hell yeah. And then I'm gonna crave bullets. Boink. Oh, this is cool! Yeah, this is neat. Hold on. That's pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty, pretty cool. Alright, well. Now that I've done that, there's a platform. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright, hold on. Let me go back up here. Doink, 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 doink. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, I see. Oh, hello. Hello, can I make new things? Boink. Ah, a med kit. Another one, please. This is cool. Woo! Ah, I see. All right, well, thank you, good sir. All right, wow, I... I did the side quest. Okay. Ah, that helps me land. This, okay, now I'm starting to get the hang of it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Talos 1 orbits the moon some 385,000 kilometers away from Earth. At 832 meters long, the Talos 1 research facility is the largest known structure in space built by humankind. That's kind of neat. Mm. Mm. That's pretty darn neat, not gonna lie. So, I also did some, uh, what you call it? I also did some research on this game because I just needed to make sure I knew what I was doing. 
and also just get kind of get a little bit more of a sense of like what's going on and like what am I doing so we're basically doing a lot of tasks that's what the main story is it's basically us doing tasks to go from point a to point b all of that good stuff and the task that we're working on it is currently one of 10 tasks that we need to do um for the main story that is left we did three of them surprisingly already in the beginning of this game that i just didn't realize i didn't know what i was doing so um yeah that microgravity your transfer suit is equipped with a propulsion system to navigate the harsh environment of space to navigate in zero g all right you can press that and then hold that to roll okay Oh, this is exciting. We, I love rotating. Oh God, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get sick. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. All right, so this is cool. So we need to go over here. This is cool. Spacewalking? It's pretty neat. Okay. Let's see, let's go in here. Alright. In here. And there's things you can grab here. That's cool. Ah! There he is! Hello, dead sir. How are you? You found him. Not surprising. Yep. Well done. All right. Well, we got his stuff, so now I feel good. I feel blessed. I got his key card. Surprisingly, it didn't float away into the deep, cold space. So now... We basically need to head back, yes? Yes, we need to head back. All right. Oh, I can thrust. Ah. All right, let's thrust our way back into the workshop. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. That was cool. Going through a spacewalk. That was pretty neat. Not gonna lie. That was pretty neat. I liked that. That was good. That was pretty good. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. It's been, I will say, it's been a long day for me. It's been a long day for me. Um, that's why I'm kind of like more like in a calm state. That's why I have like this bed buddy on me and all that such just uh just i just need it's just like oh i need to like breathe get through things everything's gonna be okay whoop de do woohoo so ah uh, Everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be so good. Everything's going to be hunky-dory. And we're right back at it. I'm excited. Let's get it. Let us get it. Now we're back in the loveliness of gravity and all of that good stuff. So now we can uh, do things. All right. Time to go to his workshop. Now, if I remember correctly, we need this key card right here. Bam. All right. Here we go. All right. There are some... Yeah, let me move this. Doink. Hold on. Because there's a med kit here. Hello. All right. Bam. Looking glass console. All right, I think this is what we need. So let's take a look at this. No. Needs power. All right, let's see how we can turn. Ah, I see. 
So freaking cool. Video playback. Test phase one. Error. Ow. Ow. Okay. Error, error, error. No. No. Don't give me that error. All right. Well, that 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 just did not work. All right. Yeah, hold on. Let's try this again. There was a question mark. Do I want to know what is out there? I don't. I really don't want to know. All right, let's see. Let's see. Test phase two. Let's try that. Okay. Let's see, network utilities. Okay, let's do the first one here. Online. Okay. How about this one? Great. How about this one? Oh, uh oh. Story connection. Uh oh. Yay! Nice this work, one. Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. Okay. Also, it's online. Okay. Great. Now we can head back. Great. All right. Well, that's fantastic. Let's head back. Let's do what we need to do, babe. Uh oh. something here? Yes. Yeah. Did you have something? No. Okay. I thought you had something. You never know. Just gotta be thorough. Do I have any bullets? I do not. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. Of course I don't have bullets. What else is new? What else is fucking new? I mean. Alright. Nice. Taking shortcuts. That's what I like to see. Taking the shortcuts. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. He didn't see us, he didn't see us. We're good, we're good. Yeah. Doink, yes. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, bam, there we go. Bada beam, bada boom. Yay. Yay, we're doing it, I'm so happy we're doing it. Yay, I'm so glad, woohoo, I'm so happy. Yay, this is great. This is fantastic. I am getting this game. They're not being bitch asses trying to kill me. I'm learning. And that's what matters. I'm learning. That's what matters, baby. All right. All right. Huh. Okay, okay. Just gotta breathe. Everything's gonna be okay. We're in the lobby. We're gonna watch this video. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be hunky dory. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, how are y'all doing today? How are y'all doing today? Just thought I'd catch in just to see how y'all are doing. You know, just see how everyone's hanging in there and all that stuff. It is now 2021. Whoopity do. So, like. How's it going? Are you enjoying the new year so far? I don't know. Let me know. Just let me know. I'm just, I'm living life. I'm just, I'm cruising a bruising over here. You know me. You know me. I'm just, I'm just trying to make things as, you know, smooth and nice as possible, as we all well know. So, yes. Just take my breaks when I need to. Okay. Well, let's see. I go over here. Ah. Here, yeah, please. Excuse me. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. I'm not about this. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. Here for this. Uh, fuck me! Go! 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 Okay. Goodbye. 
Okay, hi, it's at least. Fuck you and everything that you are. Ugh, okay, anyway. Watch me, Morgan. Resume. Oh, that's right, we were trying to do this last time, and it worked. You're not gonna like what I have to say next. Uh -oh. You have to destroy Talos One. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive, including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry, I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Okay. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure. Too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. <laughs> All right. Self destruction. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Objective complete. do. All right, speak with January. Operator. There are many operators aboard Talos One, but none of them are like me. Over here. Where? Oh. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. Okay. The second task was to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos One is activated by two arming keys. Okay. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. Ah. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This ah. key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. The main lift is the fastest way to reach deep storage. Okay. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Sweet, thank you. I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. All right. Take the main lift in the lobby to the Arboretum. All right, cool. Sounds fantastic. Let me just look at my stuff here real quick. Like these neuro mods, I have seven. Oh shit, okay. Um, I, I thought I bought stealth last time, bitch. Okay, combat focus, firearms. Uh, okay, let me see, engineer. Repair two. Uh, da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, materials expert. Um, uh, gosh. Impasse calibration. Let's see. Zoom modification. Dismantle. Okay, hold on. Topolo metabolic boost. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to probably do combat focus. And then I'm going to probably do... Impact calibration. Yeah, sounds good. And then I'm going to drink all of this. Yum, yum, yum. Shotgun shells. When am I going to get a shotgun? All right, I'm going to upgrade you for handling. Bam. All right, I'm going to upgrade you so that you're used and all of that. I've got four med kits. That's fantastic. Hi, right, I feel pretty good. Spare parts. I wonder what those spare parts are probably used for. I can eat that. Yum, yum. Delish. All right. Combat focus enhances your overall abilities. When active, time slows around you and actions cost less stamina. Ooh, nice. At higher levels, your combat damage will also increase. Combat focus can be equipped from the favorite's wheel. Ah, so like this, pretty much. 
Got it. Okay. You got it. Thanks, January. All right. Well, I'm a little intoxicated. <laughs> Alright, but, um, I'm gonna probably have to head my way back down, so. Weren't there creatures of the sort here? There, I think it's, uh... Could be some... I need a key card for the... Uh... Oh, the main lift's down there. We gotta go down to the main left. It's apparently downstairs. I'm just gonna waltz. I'm just gonna waltz my way. Do do do. Oh, is that a med kit? Yes. Take that. Hello. Malfunction. What? Why? Why is there a malfunction? Wait. Something's wrong. I'm talking to the lift control system. Hmm. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. That's and dumb. something is preventing the car from descending. It's stuck at the top, in the arboretum. Wow. I'll see if I can find another way up. Got it. There's a route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. Be careful. What the hell? I don't want to do This is Security Chief Elazar. Ah! We have shut down the elevators and airlocks. Answer me. My team's locked down the high tier. We need those Bitch. Final signs critical. It can't be a power uh. loss, can it? I don't think so, Chief. The main lift and all the airlocks shut down at once. I have to be there. Damn it. This will give us hot guns. Put us on baby. I don't know what's it's happening. Then open the gate to hell and let us in. Don't send me an army of lawyers when I get outside. Anyone else on the station, get to a uh. safe area. Check your surroundings. Walls, floor, ceiling. Then seal yourself in. We're working on the problem, and we'll be there to retrieve you as soon as we can. Elazar out. Who the hell is Elazar? Okay, whatever. You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Doink! Ah, perfect. Yay! Can I get through here? Yay! Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. Hello, Morgan. This time we spoke. My code name is December Ellis One. I know your memory shot full of holes. But you left in the <laughs> room. The time is in break containment. Now it says a private safe. Bitch! You made a copy of this last key and hid it in the robot division, along with the supply cache. I'll transmit the location to your back. I'll contact you again. No! Ah! No, 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 no! Stay away! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! He's coming to kill me! Oh! Run! <laughs> well, I just pretty much wasted all of my lovely health kits that I found, which I hate, but you know. Life goes on, life moves in a, you know, a vertical direction, you know, all that stuff. Or horizontal, or diagonal, whatever direction you want. It, it, it moves in a direction, nonetheless. You know, as long as there's a slope, we're good. You know, all that good stuff. <laughs> Alright. Well then, psychotronics. I want to go to my arboretum and this bitch... Said I malfunction. What the hell? All right. Well, it's fine though. It's fine because now I'm I'm getting the gist. I'm getting the hang of it. Those question mark dudes. Ooh, there's something. That's quite something. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But oh, I know what to do now. This is great. This is fantastic. I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. This is great. 
Access guts. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? No. Elazar? No. You don't know anything. I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. Okay. Toilets, anything exciting? No? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, that's just sad. Ugh, excuse me. Let me. Just go through here. Psychoscope required beyond this point. <laughs> Bitch! Psychoscope? What? Ow! Oh. What? How do I get my psychoscope? Why? Oh, I don't want. I want to. Fine. Ugh. That's gross. That was nasty. All right. Well, looks like I can go down here. Oh, use. Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right. Um. Installed ship. Yes. The psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos One. Cool. Use it, to, by the way. I did. Great. All right. Well, how do I get back out of here? Ah! Bitch, ass. Ah! For manners, bitch. All right, well. Psychoscope required beyond this point. Yay! I got my psychoscope. Woo! Okay. All right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. You need to calibrate your psychoscope. By scanning the Typhon specimens around you, once you get enough scan data, the labs will open. More importantly, you'll be able to install Typhon-based neuromods. You'll be unstoppable. That's what this is all about, Morgan. 
You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us. You've just forgotten. Hello, Dr. Yu. Well, looks like I've got to do some scanning here and there. So let's find something to scan. Hello, let me scan all of your pretty things. Okay. That looks good. Skadoosh. Yay! Good. Okay. What happens if I scan all of them? Good. Sending you the code to a safe and direct to Kalstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. So driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the On that note of me dying right then and there and all that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. All right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put. All right. It's going to want me to scan and do all of that again. So I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, I'm going to save and I'm going to end this episode right here. So. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Prey. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, I seem to be getting a better sense and a better control of this game and a better sense of like how to play it, how to go through it, and all that stuff. Again, it takes me. It took me a little while to get Dishonored when I was first playing that, and it took me a little while to play to get a sense of how to play this game because they're developed by the same developers, but that's the softworks. Um, so, you know, I had to take some time to get some use to the controls, but now that I've got it and I'm solid and I know what I'm doing, we're now lock and loaded and we can just keep things a going. We'll get to guts hopefully in the next episode. But as for right now, this has been Raisin Brand. Thank you so much once again for watching this episode of Prey and I shall see you in the next video.